Hello Year 4, welcome back um, to the next week. Um, we're going to be continuing learning about time um, this week, so today we're going to be beginning with adding time. Um, so to start us off, we just need to remember our conversions, um, because we'll be using those today. So we need to remember that 60 minutes is the same as one hour, and 60 seconds is the same as one minute. Okay, so if we look at question number one together, first of all, um, Mr. Smith worked two hours, 25 minutes in the morning. He worked five hours, 10 minutes in the afternoon. How long did he work all together? Okay, so I know here from the word all together, I'm going to need to add two hours, 25 minutes to five hours, 10 minutes to work out how long he worked all together. Um, so just from looking at the two times, I know that when I add the minutes, I'm not going to need to regroup. So that means that I can add the hours first and then add the minutes. So I'm going to start off by doing two hours to add five hours, which equals seven hours. And then I'm going to add the minutes together. So I've got 25 minutes, add 10 minutes, equals 35 minutes. And then the final thing that I'll need to do is just add back together the hours and minutes. So 7 hours plus 35 minutes equals 7 hours 35 minutes. So that means that Mr Smith was working for 7 hours 35 minutes all together. Okay, right, question number 2 that we're going to look through together. She waited 40 minutes to check in her luggage. Then she waited 1 hour 55 minutes before boarding the aeroplane. How long did she wait all together? Okay, so once again, my keyword there is all together, so I know that I need to add the two times together. So this time, I've only got minutes here. I don't have any hours, okay? And just by looking at the minutes, 40 minutes and 55 minutes, I know that because there's only 60 minutes in an hour, I'm going to need to regroup. So this time, I'm going to add the minutes first. So I'm going to do 40 minutes plus 55 minutes equals 95 minutes. What I can then do is convert 95 minutes into hours and minutes. Okay, so I know that 60 minutes is in an hour, so I have one hour and 35 minutes. Okay, then all I've got left to do is to add on the hour. Okay, so then I need to do one hour 35 minutes, add one hour, which will be two hours 35 minutes to give me my final answer. So then that tells me that Julie was waiting for two hours 35 minutes before boarding the aeroplane. Okay, so that's two examples um, for you today. I'm now going to set you a task to have a go at. Okay, you can find a, co um, a copy of this on the learning PowerPoint. Okay, the first part for today, okay, you've just got six questions that you will need to have a go and answer. Okay, and then for the second activity, we're going to have a bit of a game. Okay, so for this game, um, for you to play at home, you will need um, two players. You could have more than two if you wanted. You will need something similar to a counter, something that you can flick, um, and then a copy of this board game, which you can find on the learning PowerPoint. Okay, so step one, player one um, will need to flick the counter until it lands on a circle on the game board. Um, they will then need to flick the counter again until it hits another circle. Player one then needs to add those two times together. Step four, um, the other player, player two, will need to check player one's answer. Um, and if player one has it correct, then they can get a point. Um, step five is then to swap and player two then has a go. And you can continue um, keeping a tally of your scores.